Uh, welcome once again. Today we're going to be discussing the color code of fuses. Why it's so important. As you've seen in, in, in my recent video, I spoke about the color codes of maxi fuses. These are maxi fuses, the high rated fuses that you find in your fuse panel in every automotive car. Now, there is obviously a current rating for each one. The textbook that I use, Automotive Technology, a systems approach that I always tell you from 20 years ago, still appropriate today. If you look at the current rating, take anyone, according to the book, blue is 60. Here it is, 60 is blue. Amber, or orange color, is 40. True? Yes. Light green, 30. Upside down, but 30. Okay. Red, 50. So, there is a color code associated with maxi fuses, mini fuses. Why is it so important? Well, let's say you, you're looking for a fuse. Let's say for a fuel pump or whatever. Start them on uh, and the circuit says 50 amps, whatever. Well, let's say I cannot read the fuse panel cover. Okay? I cannot read the rating. Let's say I look at the fuse, I cannot read the rating on the fuse because after so many years, it just deteriorates or the fuse rating has been scratched off. What do I do? I look at what? The color. The color does not go away. It's always there. So if I need a 60 amp fuse, for example, a 60 amp fuse, a maxi fuse in the circuit in the schematic, I go to the panel. What am I going to look for? A blue fuse. You cannot miss it. Okay? Now... Question was asked, how do you test a fuse? How much should a fuse measure? Zero ohms with no exceptions. Doesn't matter if it's a mini fuse, a maxi fuse, a fuse in your radio, zero ohms. And let's do that exercise with a fluke meter and see. Okay, I'm about to measure ohms on a meter, a fluke meter. What's the first thing that I do before I use a, a meter? for AC volts, DC volts, ohms. What's the first thing I always do? Always put on ohms, always measure continuity on this together. What should I measure? Put the leads together and how much should I measure? 0 0.4, 0 0.3 ohms as you see. Always, why? Not because of a battery being weak, but because the leads, these leads, sometimes they're broken. If they're broken, you will not get an accurate reading for ohms, for DC volts, for AC volts. First thing, always measure continuity, always when you grab that meter. So we grab the, we grab the fuse. We have the fuse over here, as you can see. Two leads, it'll be a little hard to put in the photo, in the picture, but you'll get the idea. How much I'm measuring on a fuse, a maxi fuse? 0.3 ohms, less than one ohm. No exception, always on a good. Now, can I do a visual and look inside and see if it's broken inside? I do not rely on this. I do not rely on this to see if it's broken or attached. I measure always with a meter, okay? Always with, a, a, a first thing, again, very important measure the ohms resistance of the meter make sure the leads are good put it on ohms after that then you can measure voltage diode test capacitor whatever you need make sure the leads are good next one over here i have and i'll pause this so over here i have many many different relays different sizes however they all work on 12 volts Always when you measure, you want to measure, as you can see, 85, 86, let's say this will be 12 volts, this will be the ground, either a physical ground or a computer ground, doesn't matter. Then, this is also 12 volts. Now, what happens? This, when the armature is energized, the contacts go from normally open to normally closed. So what will happen? 30, instead of being connected to 87A, 30 is now connected to 87. So where am I going to measure again? More, very, very important. Where am I going to measure to make sure this whole relay is activated? At 87. How much should I measure there? 
if this is 12 volts and this is closed, how much should I measure? 12 volts at 87, always. So if you have a fuel pump problem, this is the relay for the fuel pump. I have a video that I made on it, how to measure it, insert, insert it in the circuit. Please go to that video, Joe Electronics Max Auto, how to measure fuel relays or, uh, relays in, uh, in circuit. You'll see, you put a piece of wire under this into the slot and you measure it. So again, where do you gonna measure if this whole thing is energized? 87, no exception, 87. These are different sizes, why? Why are these different sizes? But the, the theory is the same. Same thing, 85, 86. Where do I go to measure 12 volts on this one? 87, no exception. How much should I measure? 12 volts. How much should I measure at 30? 12 volts. 87, 12 volts. What does it tell you? This is closed. The relay is engaged, okay? Why the different sizes? The current rating. Okay, the more current, remember, the coil has a smaller current rating. The load side, this has a smaller current rating, the coil. The higher rating current is from 87 to 30, which goes to where? The load, the motor, the pump, or anything it's going to activate. So the high rated current is through this. So remember, different ratings, different relays, according to, obviously, the application that you need it for. Okay, remember some relays are AC, some relays are DC, obviously these are DC, some relays are for 12 volts, some relays are for 24 volts, like commercial cars or things like something you need 12, something the battery is 24 volts. So keep this in mind, whatever you do. And, and remember the meter, always ohm it first. So I hope this was helpful. Please go to my channel, Joe Electron Schematics for Auto, where you'll see more videos how to measure relays in circuit thanks for watching